Hey, this is Yuka from Wintersun and you're watching Dirt Metal Krieger. Hey, this is Scarlett here with Yuka, Winter Sun, Hello. bassist right here. So, congrats first time being out. I know it's your first time here in the States. And um, last night, Arizona, how was that? Uh, thank you for the, uh, the congrats. It's <laughs> so relieving that we finally have the album out. And uh, it took a while. It took did, a, took it a did. a bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about beep time that it's out. And uh, now that we're here for the first time, and the tour has been a blast. Yesterday, Arizona Tempe, amazing show. Nice open air, a lot of stage diving. And tonight you saw people trying to crowd surf, but didn't go so well. But I think the LA crowd still gave you enough energy. Yep. And I'd say <laughs> that, honestly, one of the best shows ever. Today. So far though, so far. Yeah, but in, in general, like when it comes to Winter Sun, his, Winter Sun's history, it was amazing today. And uh, well, thank you. That's I an still, honor coming I'm from super Winter Sun. Exhausted still, because I put my entire energy on the thing, and it's like <laughs> so relieved and so relaxed. I was so exhausted. <laughs> and what would you say is one of the best European shows you've had so far? Ooh. Mm. I have to do it. Oh, is someone joining us? Probably, I don't know, I'm just full, full of excitement steams at the moment when it comes to the US tour. Today's show especially that. And is there one city you just want to visit and play at? Any Place? city? Um, well, I have to say that where it's always is nice, it's actually in Tuska, in Helsinki, okay. a Tuska festival. And um, it's a big Finnish metal festival. It was very nice to play there actually a few years ago, because that was like after six years or so that we played mm -hmm. there. That was very, very insane as well. And I know the fans have been waiting you know, for this album to be released, mm -hmm. and it's only the first half. So, like, yeah. what's in store for us, second half? Well, I have to say that actually it's a, it was a very, very nice idea to split it in half. I understand that people's reaction would be like, God damn, those guys are like trying to make the album for, for years and now they're releasing it only half of it, like what the hell? Yes. But the point is actually that, um, first of all, um, the, both of the albums will be like 43 minutes approximately. So I think it's actually a good idea to let people really concentrate on the first half, on and those take it songs. All in. Yeah, exactly. Not, okay. I'm not saying that people would be stupid listening to a 90 minute album. Everybody can do it, even I can do it. <laughs> but, but the point is just to keep time for that and really like, really focus on that. And also, actually, because. Um, if we would have released the whole album in one, it would be very hard to play all the songs live. Because mm -hmm. we would really, really like to give the opportunity for all the songs to play live. And not just like play a few songs here and there. So now that we have actually a chance to focus, play fully time one, and then when time two comes out, so does this fully do that. So does this mean you guys are going to come back pretty soon? Definitely. Okay. Um, what is soon? Well, our plan is like at the moment that from the beginning of next year, for four or five months, Yari will uh, mix the album, and then we're going to master it. And um, time two will be out either very late next year or early 2014. Okay. So that's the plan at the moment, and the the songs that will be on the album are at least as good as in time one, or we, better, or better. <laughs> they're they're different again, but the, like said, that time one and time two 
or a concert album. It's like they're, they're the same package. So, but what can I say about time two is basically that um, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a bit rougher songs and a lot more guitar solos and more fiery stuff, so to say. So that but sounds then, more like the old Winter Sun with the more solos, but just yeah. taking a different approach to it. Yeah, but okay. of course, like a lot more atmospheric and like a movie soundtrackish style that we have now on time one and on time two as well but also actually on time two there will be one song which is probably the most atmospheric song Yari has ever written most emotional slow song whoa <laughs> I'm already getting blue in a good way <laughs> thinking of just thinking about it you will hear it can't wait approximately in a year or a bit more <laughs> So the fans have been waiting so long, yeah. you know, for the time, but they've been talking a tad bit of crap, because why has it taken so long? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the pun, like, oh, it's called time, but mm -hmm. they don't realize you guys are regular people as well. Yeah. So what's some of your other hobbies you do and, you know, daily lifestyle? Ooh. Well, I have to say that we are so fully contribute to music in general and especially the winter sun but of, yeah of course we do a bunch of other stuff as well um what should i, what should I say like <laughs> do all kinds of sports concert and music the most i'm actually working at the moment in a day job as well at the moment because i have a bit more time at the moment to do that i like to do well, person i like to do all kinds of things of course my passion is in music but it's nice to have variety and um, but when it comes to the rest of the guys, actually uh, Kai and Temu are uh, teachers when it comes to drum, okay. drums and guitar. Uh, but Yari is basically actually uh, focusing, being focusing for several years now, only on composing and doing doing time. <laughs> Not doing time. <laughs> no, he's he's a free man in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing time. Yes, he is doing time. But in not a way, in, in a jail. way. Yeah, not in <laughs> not in jail, but in musical way. In music way. I yeah. kind of knew this interview was gonna be all puns, <laughs> all about time, time yeah. here, time there. And we're running out of time actually right uh, now. So no, we're not. Oh, so you want to keep going? Time is forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. But when it comes to uh, people talking crap about it, like, why the hell does it take so long for the guys to release the album? But uh, everybody in the band, and I know, for example, I, because of composing all kinds of things in the past, it's like it can be a big m mental burden that you just don't, although you have almost everything ready, but you still have to make like a um, bunch of uh, leaks or melodies that this instrument might go like this or this instrument should go like this if you don't have the inspiration or the feeling that it's it's there then it can take <coughs> time <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what happened and of course I understand that people have been waiting for that so long and us in the band guys all of us been waiting for that goddamn long as well so uh, I understand the frustration and, and being pissed off that it's delayed and delayed but then again now we're here first time ever in the US and what is the response and for example just a few weeks back we did a headline tour in Europe and that was amazing same similar kind of response as well so although I'm sorry that everybody had to wait, but I think it, it shows that it's worth wait, it. Though. I kind yeah. of, you know, got worried towards the end. Mm -hmm. I'm like, when are you guys going to come out with it? Yeah. And eventually, it came out in time. Exactly. <laughs> it came on time, so to say, exactly. in the right time. There you go. And there you have it. Let's continue this interview, but then we're going to uh, delete one word, time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you should do it like from now on, like whatever I'm going to say, or whoever is going to say it, just censor it like beep, beep.
our time with Winter Summer. Well, I actually had one which we were gonna do in um Aska. What's your dirty like your dirty little secret? Like if you have any. Everyone has one. Just have my secrets, but nothing dirty, unfortunately. Nothing dirty. No. Nothing we can blackmail you with. TMD. <laughs> <laughs> you are in LA. Hollywood. Everywhere. Some sado maso stuff. <laughs> dirty little secret. No. What about any ritual before you go on stage? Levitating. <laughs> flying in the air. Nice. I must learn that. You nice. should teach us. I'm terrible. Yeah. Wormholes. Wormholes, yeah. Mm. Science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, some rituals, how should I say, take it easy trying to find your zen moment and maybe uh, listen to, at least me, listen to some good music that I really like. To and have some extra kick in the butt. So who are some of your favorite musicians? Top three. Musicians? Or bands? At the moment bands are uh, Marduk, Deftones and, and Lana Del Rey. Oh, nice. I, I like that whole mixture. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to classical music. It's nice to have yeah, some it's, it's nice to be open minded. Exactly. And better do it. Better than that. And maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 i am not sure no pun intended. Yeah. Maybe a little. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for your time. Thank Once you. Again. <laughs> and I hope we can catch you next time. Next time. Hopefully <laughs> next year. Hopefully. Or the beginning of the next year. 2014? Yeah. Hopefully Pagan Fest next year? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No promises, but um, there we'll are see. some plans. We will see. We will see. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>